already. So. Okay, I can see myself on there, that's good. Wait to see what people can hear or not. And I've got the volume up on that, which is never going to be fun. Alrighty. So, hello fellow dragons, it's Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming and Astral Dragon 76 on Twitch, either way. So it's Halloween time, and it's time to play Layers of Fear. I think I got about halfway through this game and then I put it down for some reason. I can't remember why. It's a good game, I just didn't play it all the way through. Um, so, stupid thing is I now have two separate copies. I have one on um, Steam, and I also have another one on... Epic, which is really insane. I, I just got Layers of Fear 2 on Epic as well just the other day, so, you know, you have multiple copies of games. I think one day someone's going to come up with a good way of just sort of crunching it all down to one. But anyway, it's Halloween, let's have a play, and let's see how far we can get with this wonderful game. I'm going to play it on Xbox controller and on a PC and see how we go. New game. I know how you must feel. Lost. Hopefully the chat is high Alone. Audio. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. Yay! The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Now, you play as an artist in this, and you basically lost everything, and you're kind of going through this self-delusional sort of thing, and it's really fantastic. Every porch of those paint... Ugh, missed it. Alright, so here we are. Wonderful graphics. Wonderful world. And there's a wonderful thunderstorm outside. Ooh. Baby being taken away by strange large hawk thing. That's never a good thing. And a man that killed his wife and the kids are still playing in the corner. Yes, yeah, this bodes well. Alright, hold right trigger. Right stick. Alright, here we are. Cupboards. Ooh, a note. Let's have a read so. Think. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist, as well as refraining from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visit your house report absolutely no sign of rodent infestation at, of any kind, and as such, decide not to act further than a pro, pro, prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as the final warning, and, or else, the next envelope you'll receive will be from my lawyers. Best regards, Carl Denton. Pesky Pest pra Pacification. Co. Okay. Cool. 
Alright. Well, that went well. It appears that I'm annoying pest controllers and I have a rat problem that seems to be lost in my head. China, got plenty of other things. Like, sir, I don't, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the message that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave your keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Well, clearly I have a butler. And clearly I can't open that door. Ah, oh, I can open this door. Alright, since this is a scary game, basements are something I'm not going for yet. Unless I have to. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Lots of flavor text, lots of... I'm sorry for yesterday, you were right, I overreacted, it's just that this isn't about me, it's about her, everything I do, I do, the best interest of mine, I guess I've always believed that in a perfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection, ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father, I will work on my temper, though, promise, We'll talk later. I love you. I don't think that letter got well received. Interesting. Alright. Please tell me there's a light switch. Or do we not pay the electricity again? What is with all the stuff? Below the processes, processes. So uh, interesting. How the hell did they fuck up the length? They messed up the length. Nothing in there. And nothing in that cupboard. And nothing in that cupboard. Well, clearly I have electric lights, but I'm not allowed to use them. So, let's go for a look in here. This is not me, but clearly someone's been having a little too much of the rosé. Because it's all over the floor. bet even uh, Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us and common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. He's got his priorities set, that's what I like. Sugars. Wow. A 
more oregano on top. Garlic. Keep the pesky vampires away. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Well, clearly I need to go upstairs. I'm definitely not going downstairs yet. Like any self-respecting man of worth and great artist, my office will be up here somewhere. I just have to remember what damn thing is. Has to be my study. Uh, it's looking like a key. Okay. Hmm. Ew. Whoa. Whoa. Red Riding Hood did not go well with that one. Okay, I got a key. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. I promised. Okay, something went wrong. I am not liking that red writing wood one though. Yeah, not a letter. Dun dun. Yes, this will be heavily about talking and reading letters. Gives flavour text to the entire story. My dearest friend, uh, let me ask you, Clunk, you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a travel task because I expected Little, riding, little Red Riding Hood be something you could draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare for you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. Wow. <laughs> there is no way in hell I am using this and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brimstone. Brick, Brickstone. Whisper Tale Publishing House. Wow. Yeah, that went smoothly, that did. Smoking usually problems. Can't do anything. Well. Wow, that's... That's creepy. One hairy, hairy face. And darkness. Lots and lots of darkness. I may jump the camera up. Ooh, a hopsicle. Ooh, I can play the hopsicle. Or not. That's fine. We don't have to play the hopsicle. Some burnt stuff. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. So funny. Dumpling here and there, dumpling everywhere, and I must declare, I stepped right on my toes no, and went dip. And it suddenly stopped. That sounds like a good thing. Okay, what do we got? A uh, new face of music, and a night at the opera becomes a night at to remember. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredible, talented, multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over most, over even the most adrenaline uh, uh, naysayer. She. Nice. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist uh, Danielle Richard. 
Richto. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony uh, Giles, one of harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made despairing comments about the artist, uh, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regretted those words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes, you caught up with the star. Interesting. Lovely shirts. Shirts. Creepy gramophone that's not going to creep me out later. Clothing. Damn it! I knew it was there. And <sighs> I can see this is going to be the entire game, me jumping at something that I wasn't expecting. Alrighty, so we have lots of wine bottles. So that's saying something. Lots and lots of wine bottles. Ooh, more flavor text. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The legs been aching up again. Figure I might as well do some work. I love you. Grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozen dozen fighting for their lives. The long awaited opening of the galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not been yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Rowan uh, Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. You intrigue. Well, that went well for someone. I have a fan. Brush mirror that is completely and utterly shited. Hmm. Interesting. What do we have here? A tea light. It is locked. The door is locked. Alright. Well, we can do a bit more exploring, but I think. kids room Ooh. well it's much love toy I can say that lost all their heads. Or at least a, a bad shape. That one's just... Yep, terrifying. And a bit 
picture of a dog, but nothing else. I might just jump the camera up just ever so slightly. Dum, 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 dum. Oh. Okay. Slide that. Okay. So we can see it a bit better. Nope, it's a hand and a dog. That's it. But that is much easier on the eyes now. Not that I don't think. Another eh, locked door. Alright, let's go to our painting room. That's a classic one. A demon ripping out someone's heart. Once again, I loved a lot of these sort of original sort of Renaissance paintings and whatnot, but they don't half show bad things left, right, and centre. Alrighty, well, we now have the key. Here we are, an artist's retreat, and we're seeing repeating photos here. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh. Open. And there's nothing. Let's see, we have a wonderful thing here. Lots of paintbrushes. Most of them broken. Connect them. Uh, what do we got here? Let's read it first. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Okay. What about other? Lots of rose of the wine. Ooh. This is an artist that truly believes. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Oh, there you go. Someone was pissed. Nothing super thing. Well, let's see what's under the canvas. Can't be anything too bad. Oh! Shadows. Nothing super scary there. Hmm. Must be trees. I'm not scared at all. Lots of locked little things. I wonder why they're locked. Nothing else I can do here? Doesn't seem so. Well, let's go explore some more. Huh. Where color do I come from? There was a dining room here a minute ago. Okay, well the spooks will begin. Let them begin. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Let's see. Huh. Well that room suddenly changed. Gives you just enough time to read that before it slams right in front of you. That's cute. Really cute. Okay. Well, let's check drawers before we leave. Nothing. Yeah, I can't get to the last one. Oh, I can do. Okay. Yeah. Pipe rack. Let's see those. 
does every day now does. Alrighty. Clearly we have to go down this way. Okay. Ooh, that's a horrifying piece of work. Going in circles. You may be right. Hey now, let's go walk through here. Another study. I'll tell you what, whatever he paid for this house, he's getting his money worth. Got rooms to burn. Could like hide hundreds of people in here. Lots of paint. Lots of notes. Ooh, here we go. Save the date. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday. The 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, connect them. Well, that's a nothing. Okay. That is a combination. Do I hear whispers or is it just me? Are you whispering? Oh no, I think I figured something now. Unless we're doing in the other version of how they do things, which would be six nine two thousand. Okay, that sounded like it would be too easy. Maybe we'll do the thing of the beast. The number of the beast. Find the number. Let's see, we have three, three, and two. Or is it five, three, two? Let's try that. No, I'm not liking that. I'm missing something here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three candles. Oh, wow. Okay. That was good. Five, four, eight. Yep, didn't need that at all. Thank you. 
come again. And we have the past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Oh, door appeared. Never forget. Okay. Ominous rocking chair. Yeah, that's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, you've been snooping around my workshop. Again, for the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. I assume that's to the butler. Or maid, depending on the circumstantial logic of this time period. Okay. Okay, nothing ever goes well when you walk into a room with a stag head. That's just game of logic going nuts in the brain there. Of course, I go to a painting of a falling doll, and this is where I end up. <sighs> well, I'm in the basement now. Place I didn't want to be. Dust mice, even in my lungs. There is always more. Grotesque vermin dirt. Okay. That's clearly our artist friend pointing out that they're freaking out. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe you how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambitious. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. Now, But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I, that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious Vienna's venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again, finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am, quite possibly, the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. This is supposedly to the child that is here, but I'm not sure of their origin or their existence. Clearly there was a child because there's a room that said so. Ooh, like Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh Yep, out. Time to go. Or not. That was creepy at all. Okay, time to go up. Creepy, creepy stairs. Creepy, creepy place. Hmm. Pull the lever! This should be fine. Oh, wow. The doll is no longer there. It's there on the stag head, covered in paint. So once again, grab
great room. Lots of fun. Really enjoying the place. Done an excellent job. I need to leave now. Why do I hear moving things? Okay. Just right. Just right. <laughs> Cannon. I might leave. Leaving sounds good. Creepy corridor. like that in this house. But there's not. Oh, rat. Rat committed suicide in fire. Funny. Okay. Worst part about it, up to this point, I played part of this game and I know half the scares here, but they're still very well done. When it says it's recommended that you wear headphones, they are not kidding you. I'm half deaf in my headphones because I've lost most of the hearing on one side of my head, but it still scares the living bejesus out of you. Lots of books. Lots of drawers. Lots of flavour text. Another one. Hey, in regards to your previous layer, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remembered uh, Valerie uh, got the blues real bad. I would ask her that she wanted for lunch and she'd just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now. I know I promise not to rush you, and by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off, but just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin-yang, commissions left from right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron, well, strike the iron while it's hot, but of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Cled Cald. Caldwell. Clad. Caldwell. Caldwell. Whatever. Close enough. Alrighty, let's continue through this horror show that is this house. <laughs> you know, if it was a crying baby, it would have been worse. Crying mother, I can deal with. I really don't want you to use doors around here. Yep, I'm locked out of that one. Let's try that one. I'm locked out of that one too. Okay, that's not too bad. So the upside is no knives or anything. Ah, uh, hold on. There are 
two doors. Locked. Well, it's door number two. I don't have a choice in then. Alright. Really? Okay. Let's walk down here and see what happens. This looks like a really big pantry. What was that? Okay then. First step is the hardest. Okay. I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. Oh. I had to find a knife. This Not one of those bread scary. ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. But why is this scary? Shapeless dreams. I now have a piece of skin. I fear I'm going to apply that piece of skin to the painting. Okay, blood flamingos. That looks cool. First, look for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find the knife. Oh, wow. So, looking flesh. Goody good. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? I don't know. Possibly killing people, causing irreparable damage, you know. Hate, even now lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Okay. Uh, 